another series that's going to be hitting HBO Max. And it's a spinoff. And it looks really good from the small little clips we saw. And that's a penguin. This looks really, really good. I'm not going to lie. I think that this has the potential to be really good. Um, so this comes from Variety. And it says, Colin Farrell returns to Gotham as Batman spinoff series confirmed for 2024. Oswald Co- Cobblepot is finally getting his moment in the sun. Warner Brothers Discovery executives have unveiled the very first look at the Penguin, the spinoff series focusing on Colin Farrell's Gotham City gangster for the 2024 blockbuster film, The Batman. The preview was in part of the company's presentation on Wednesday for its streaming service, Max, a combined combination of HBO Max and Discovery Plus services. The Penguin, which is currently in production, will run eight episodes. Spoiler alert for the film. After Paul Dano's The Riddler kills Carmine Falcone, one of Gotham City's top mob bosses, he floods the major downtown area in a coordinated terrorist attack, leaving Pharaoh's cobble pot with the city in chaos in a power vacuum within Gotham's underworld. Co-starring Pharaoh are Christine Milani as Carmine Falcone's daughter, Sophie Falcone, Michael Zengen from Marvelous, Marvelous Mrs. Mabel, as his son, and Clancy Brown from John Wick Chapter 4, as Salvatore Moroni, who used to be the top gangster in Gotham. They're joined by Michael Ke- Kelly, Derek o- O'Connell, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, and David H. Holmes. Lawrence LaFranc is going to be the executive producer and the showrunner for The Batman. Writer and director Matt Reeves, executive producing through his production company, Sixth in Idaho. Uh, executive producer Craig Zobel is directing the first three episodes, and other executive producers include Farrell himself, Dylan Clark, Daniel Pipesker, and B- Bill Carello. Ravi Cohn is an executive producer. Is executive producer in Warner Brothers Television is in the studio. So, I got to say, guys, this looks really good. Anybody who's watched the trailer right now, it looks awesome. Um. <clears throat> Just seeing uh, him back in that makeup and just the little bit of of footage we saw looked awesome. I can't wait for this. And it's really going to be interesting to see what happens over the course of time if and when this is successful that we get other series. Um, Could Batman actually make a, a cameo? That would be interesting. Um, so th- I, I, th- I think we might get a cameo of Robert Pattinson as Batman in this. I Just a hunch. You know, I think he's got to go talk to him for something. Who knows? Um, and it would be very interesting to see how they'll set this up for the new Batman coming up. Um, because, you know, streaming, I'll say one thing. Streaming is a very good thing when you're able to introduce a character in themselves. So when you get to the next feature film, um, there you already know that you are already care about the character. And the most recent thing I can think of is Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel is, you know, we just had that first trailer drop the other, the other day, I think last week. And uh, come November, you know, the Marvels, it looks good. And you already, you can't wait to see her. That was one of the highest rated streaming uh, shows on Disney Plus last year. And so when we are able to see Brie Larson and Miss Marvel together, it's going to be fabulous. And I think that's the thing here. Once we get to the new Batman movie that's coming out in October of 2024, we're already going to have some context to everything that's going on. And it's a good way to continue the story. And it's a good way to actually... um, you know, continue the story really cheap, frankly. And since you're only doing eight episodes, and this isn't going to be huge, um, if they plan this right, and I'm sure those guys over at Warner Brothers are going to do it well, um, they're going to coincide this to fit right where the Batman 2 is going to begin. Um, not only that, but 
time-wise too. If I had to put a date on this today to figure out when it was going to premiere, and I, I actually don't know. I think they might have said coming in 2024 or if they gave a date. I, But I would probably say July. July of 2024. So if it runs eight weeks, you've got July and August, and then you're going to have September, and then it comes out in October. Just a thought, guys. Anyways, I think it's going to be fun. I do. I think we're going to get a lot of good cameos. I think it's going to be a, a gritty, gritty performance by Carl and Furrow. And uh, he was one of the best things of the Batman last last year. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Are you excited for the Penguin? Do you like Colin Farrell playing the Penguin? Um, when do you think this might come out? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll get back to everybody.